Yeah, that's fine. It's all good. <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah. Once I have my switch, I won't have to open up my electrical cabinet. But right now, I kind of do. Uh, you got my torque wrench that's kind of wedged in there, like so. But there's the airline. Goes right up back in there. It's super nice. It worked out really, really well. Love doing this stuff. You get to build your own house and you make it exactly how you want to make it. I mean, it totally depends on your life situation and what you're doing, but if you get into a van and you take your time and you build it out, you can build anything you want. And it doesn't have to be like as fancy as this necessarily. Maybe you have the skills and the patience to do all that, but otherwise you could just go in there and put things together with a jigsaw, some plywood, some screws and little you know, angles and stuff like that. And you can make quite a thing. And take your time and you can build something that's really nice that you're proud of. And of course, when you paint it all up and you are proud of it and it looks great, it feels, there's a sense of pride that goes with it that to me, like, I don't know. Like I always wanted to build my own house. And, uh, and I was in rental property after rental property and I would do like little renos in them and, uh, you know, arrangements with the landlord, get a little break on the rent, that kind of thing. But every time I moved, I'd say goodbye to all that stuff and it was just an asset that the landlord would benefit from. And now, this is the first time where I actually build my own house. I bought the van and I built it out and it's like, it's mine. And... You didn't even flinch, bro. From the beer? No, just me like all up in your vlog. You just didn't even flinch. Yeah. Game face. You used to it. I like your hat, bro. Thanks, man. The, the sound of that beer sounds really good right now. So we're just out, out here at this like lake spot that he showed me. And um, you could hear the traffic. The highway's right there. So it's pretty close to the highway, but it's a cute little spot. I don't know the name of that lake. I'm not even going to bother fishing in it, but we're just hanging out. <laughs> and this is awesome. Love this thing. Onboard air, easily accessed right there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to put my bed back together here. Although, you know what? I need to sit here like this and look at the lake. A little whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No problem, buddy. Sorry for slapping your audience with cheese. <laughs> You're one cheesy bro, man. <laughs> Actually, I'm cheesier than you, yeah. I think. I got some video to prove that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have much to say, you guys. I'm just, you know, it feels good to be out here. And uh, I feel like my cup's full. And so I'm just hoping that this little bit of time up here is going to help unpack some of the stuff that's been building up for me and just allow some things just to, to shed. And then, uh, yeah, then may, you know, then move on, right? So it's been so much that's happened in the last while and it's, you know, I haven't had really any time to really sit with it. So, yeah. A nice place to wake up to really uh 
kind of quiet and cool and that sort of thing. So, whoo. Now this is feeling really good. <laughs> we are going to move because it's getting pretty hot in this area. And um, I'm making some progress slowly but surely with catching up on video editing and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna put some shorts on. This is getting hot, really hot. And these sweatpants were great this morning, but not anymore. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're about, uh, we're not far from Port McNeil. We're gonna go up there. And I still got cell service up there, which is great. And uh, later today, I'm gonna have a chit chat with my daughter. Uh, fingers crossed that we can get that done today. And then uh, I'll probably hang out for a couple more days and just try. I'm gonna just try and crank these videos out. Home's like I just feel under pressure because he wants to go up north, and I, I don't want to hold him back. And uh, I want to go up there too, but I'd like to get some stuff up for you guys. So. That's a guarantee. So if we have to split up, then we're gonna split up. Uh, I need to get some stuff up to you guys. Uh, right now, that's my, that's the way I'm gonna make any money right now. So I'm gonna be doing that. <clears throat> Things have changed in that department making money, so. Oh. Just checking your copyright music, that's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you were listening to. <laughs> that's right. It's exactly what it is. Real music. Real music, my friend. Real music. I got a little bit more garbage. I got a bag of poop. Yeah, let's go get rid of that stuff. You wanna take my bag of poop? No. I worked very hard to make that bag of poop. <laughs> and we're off. Oh yeah, holy. Look at that water. To know that I was just sitting like two minutes away from this and it, oh my gosh, I gotta come back to this place. Are you kidding me? You'll definitely have to stick around and come back and explore this island one day. I, we, of course. Yeah. Definitely gonna be putting some time in on this island. Dude, it's epic. Dude. I was just thinking, I gotta stop there on the way back and go for a swim. Yeah, I don't know if you can get down there. It might be a long way to, I don't have no idea. I might need to get a rope and some repelling gear. <laughs> you can bore, I don't know if you can get down there. You might be able to. Hey, I got a winch that'll get you down a little ways. Perfect. Hey. What an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it holds 12,000 pounds, man, so you should be good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> you, you bet. It's kind of weird because I have to stop and basically work and edit a video and it takes about a full day to get one of those things done sometimes it takes two days and there's been a, a few that have taken three days um and then i've had days where i've gotten multiple videos done in one day but um yeah it's fun when you're just out here and you just want to like not do that stuff and just check it out check it out got these radios that we're using we're able to talk back and forth while we're driving it's really great um, they're probably not the best kind of thing but they do the job when we're this close together um, there's some spots where they don't sound so good but it's not too bad anyway um, it's a great way to communicate when there's no cell service or caravanning I like it
the ocean has a smell to it. But up here, it's like 10 times. It's like, it's like, you can smell the fish. But that's not quite enough. That might be my feet. Oh, hand was sexy. That's a bass. So can you eat it? That's a black bass? Yeah. Be oh. careful of the guy. Uh, they have Oh yeah, he's got poison. spikes there. Spikes there. Yeah. Can you lip him and grab him there? Hurts. The teeth are so sharp. Yeah. Feel. Oh it's yeah, no, that's all right. Imagine holding that, but Hmm. That's all you need. So that big, and then with bass, you kind of want to leave the barb on. The young guy on the dock totally reminded me of me when I was his age. He's doing the exact same thing I used to do. Just be kind of a nerdy dork down by the the dock, trying to catch fish all day long, and talking to anybody that comes by asking questions about it. That was me. So anyway. He gave me some tips, and uh, no doubt those are really good tips. So I'm uh, gonna go over to this little shop here and see what they got, see what I can pick up. That's the plan. Get in there. Hold on. Get in there. Put your head in there. Get it in there. There you go. <laughs> oh, share in the wild. Man, the people here are so friendly. I love it. Island, this man. little place back here called ShopRite. ShopRite General Store. It was great. I had everything I needed. Hopefully. Hopefully. I took a good look, man. Those look really, really I good. I just about don't want to bite into it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Just had salmon jerky, which is really good. Morning. Um, groggy. <sighs> I didn't sleep great here. There's a bunch of noises happening every couple seconds. There's like something out this way that's like, goom, goom. And then over here, there's that, um, that compressor and fan on that AC unit outside here is just going It's funny, since I've been out here on the island, i found that uh, all the spots I've stayed in have been somewhat noisy. I'm one of these guys that likes to... Uh, quiet, 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 quiet. Just, you can hear a pin drop. But, uh... Anyway. We're splitting off. He's, he's, he's going ahead, because he's impatient. And I totally get it. He's like banging out videos like every hour he's like editing a new video. I don't know how he does it. I told him I'd like to sit down and just watch him do it one day. Cause I'm in a video and I'm like, it's a full day to edit. Anyway, I'm staying here cause I got to edit video. And um, I'm gonna try and take care of a few things, do that stuff like go to the fishing shop, get some gear. Um, I actually feel really good about this. So he's going to send me an in-reach message later on where he's at. And then I'll just catch up with him that way. And uh, I actually have mine with me. So I'm going to activate mine. I think I have it with me. Hopefully I have it with me. So thing's doing its little update. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet. It's been... Uh... I've just been sitting in this town all day long 
editing videos. I got uh, one up last night, or first thing this morning, and then I got two more edited, so they're scheduled to go up. I'm just trying to get that head so that I can head out into this place. So I'm thinking I can pack up and go there right now. I just, <clears throat> one of the last things I wanted to do was hook up my inReach and I just got this thing activated. So now if I run into troubles out there or anything, I got a connection with the outside world. And also I'm, I just sent him a test message on that thing so that we can communicate between each other as I drive out. He is a ways out there. There's no way I'm gonna get to him tonight. Um, but I figured a better place to sleep than in this town. It's a beautiful town, I really like it. Um, but it's just nice to be in the back country. I'm craving a really quiet night's sleep. So I'm gonna head out. <laughs> it's getting dark soon, so I'm pretty, I don't know if I'm gonna film very much. I'll film a little bit of this drive, but I'm, I'm just gonna go find a spot. <clears throat> I made it. <laughs> what a drive. Um, it was uh, like 70 clicks of washboard. <laughs> the van kept together pretty good. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm being quiet because I pulled up. Chrome's right over there. There's a couple other campsites nearby. It's a little bit late for me to try and make arrangements for bees and stuff, so I'm gonna sort it out in the morning. And, uh, yeah. And now I'm tired. I was starting to feel probably about 20 minutes away from here, I was starting to get that feeling. I was like, oh, I'm tired. And then I was like, oh. Whoa, 20 minutes. And it wasn't far, so anyway. Uh, the last stretch down into this place called Winter Harbor. I know it was completely at nighttime, but it, there's there's something going on here. <laughs> it's super lush, <laughs> so I can't wait to see you in the morning. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Have a good night. <laughs>